Inspiration these days can come from just about anywhere, but for one fitness instructor right here in Nashville, she found her inspiration in the most unlikely place, her mirror. Our Big Joe has more. It is 8 a.m. on a Wednesday, and it's another packed class at Title Nash Boxing. But this class is different, not because of him or her, but because of who is teaching. Meet Amy Bream, and you are not going to forget her anytime soon. When I started, I like it was just a fun workout for me. I never really like imagined ever being a trainer or anything like that. You'd never know by taking her class, but Amy was born with only one leg. One of the trainers had approached me after a few years of just being a member and saying, hey, I want to teach you how to kickbox. And I literally laughed at him. I was like, I have one leg. Like, that's not going to happen. I can't balance on my prosthesis. And uh, he was just like, no, you can. You just need to stop telling yourself that you're limited in that way. Just do it. And Amy did. And the rest, they say, is history. I was like, oh my gosh, this is something that I thought was impossible, and it's not impossible, so what else have I been doing in my life that I've been saying was impossible? It's really just self-imposed limitations. So it just opened up this whole new world for me that I was like, I want to try everything. Keep it going, keep it going, y'all. Keep it going, let's go, let's go. And like any good trainer, Amy certainly knows how to motivate. I don't think it's fair to say something and try to disqualify someone's struggles by using my leg. So I, I try not to say, like, you're fine, you have two legs. But sometimes there's a difference between someone struggling and someone being lazy. And if someone's being lazy, then I'll be like, you can figure this out. Like, you're capable of this. And usually it only takes me to say something like, you are capable of this. And then they realize kind of what I'm saying and they see my leg and they're like, all right. <laughs> In Nashville, Joe Dubin, News 4. Well, Amy has been invited and will participate in the adaptive CrossFit Games in Wisconsin in August. We certainly wish her the best of luck.